Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jim Welsh, and I am here today with Garrett Fuller from Foundation Software. I'd like to start by thanking everybody for attending today's webinar on your one-stop shop for construction office solutions, such as job cost accounting and payroll services. Um, what we'll do today is this is a listen-only broadcast, so if you have questions, you can feel free to type them in. Some of them we'll address right on the spot. Uh, some of them we'll wait till the end. We'll also open up some time here at the end for questions. So brief introduction, uh, we have Garrett Fuller here, a regional sales manager uh, with Foundation Software. Garrett's been doing this many years, so he's going to be able to take you through uh, our full accounting system, uh, cover job costing, some billing stuff, uh, and then what he'll do is turn it back over to me where I'll cover uh, our standalone payroll service that can either work with Foundation Software or um, other accounting systems. So we'll give you guys a high-level overview today. And then, again, any questions, feel free to type them in uh, right as we go along. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it to you, Garrett, and I'm going to hand you over controls to share your screen. All right. Got it. Sure. Should, should be good. Yeah, thanks again, everybody. So as Jim mentioned, I'll walk you through some of the key features of Foundation. Now, big picture, we're, we do more than what I'm going to get into in any in any form of detail today. And, and the main idea, of course, is give you a, a good – picture of what we provide, you know, from job costing, construction payroll, which Jim's going to take over, construction billings, um, project management features, document management. So we do a lot. Um, at least give you an idea of that. So if you want to run through a live demonstration with us, um, they're not pressured. It's pretty laid back. It's just a good opportunity to walk through, see what we do, and see if the system's a good fit. Saying that, um, yeah, most of our clients are small to mid-sized construction companies. Quite often, they're um, they're on maybe QuickBooks and they you know maybe have outgrown it or looking for something construction specific. Um, the other half of our clients um, maybe came off of an older construction accounting solution that's not supported really well or just hasn't been updated over time. So we do everything in house. Training's done direct, supports done direct, sales. That's really unique in our niche and one of the biggest reasons that our clients uh, stay long term with us. Saying that, you know, the very top, that's our classics. That's all the core construction accounting modules, which we'll poke through. We have a number of additional options, and mainly because there's different types of construction companies that would use foundation, you know, anything from a general contractor to specialty contractors, maybe electrical, mechanical, civil construction, um, a lot of the trades. And our payroll is really strong, which you'll see in a minute with Jim. And so that's a nice um, area that provides a lot of benefit. But I'm going to go ahead and start with our job costing. Now, this is cloud-based, so our, our customers log in remote. They can be, you know, at home. They can be at their office. That makes that a little bit easier, and we're maintaining all of their uh, backups of their data. We're doing their updates. We've been doing this for over 35 years. We've got a great reputation, a lot of experience in this. But let's take a look at some of the job costing. I'm going to start that off with just going into our dashboard tool. So this isn't the be-all, end-all for reporting, but it's definitely an easy spot for somebody to jump in, whether it's a day-to-day -day user or maybe a, an operations person or an owner, and give that kind of top-down view of what their jobs look like, maybe what their financials look like, just the, the health of the company. So on the left, you know, we see at least at a summary point to start, you know, contract amount for these jobs, what we build, you know, of course, the estimated versus actual cost on the jobs. Now, if you'd like, you can dive into any specific project. Essentially, you just click where you want to drill down. I'm just going to do a general drill down clicking this view report button. Now, um, in both for the payroll for construction side and foundation, where you see blue, it just means you can drill down, simply click on it. So these are just some of my active jobs. There's uh, some really nice features when you create a job in foundation. Uh, to label it, right? Like what type of job? Is it a commercial job? Is it residential? Is it industrial? Is it a service job? You create your own categories. You can attach project managers. You can attach locations. That way you can always pull the data out or filter it by different uh, labels just to make sure you're looking at the data that you want. Saying that, you know, here's the basics. Estimated profit, actual profit, percentage of completion. Now, if we wanted to jump into a job for, I guess, good or bad reasons when you click it, it's going to take you down to a summary page. So again, we're, we're not in the, in the details quite yet. You could start in the details, of course. We've probably has 40 to 50 preloaded job cost reports. So you can run any of your favorites to start or, or again, start in the weeds if you prefer. Saying that, I'm just now 
isolated one job and we're seeing a summary of what that looks like. You know, here's our profit on the job. There's our contract breakdown. You know, we got change orders split out. We do a really good job managing commitments. So, you know, purchase orders and or subcontracts that have been issued for the job so we can see what those total committed values are. We do a great job managing what's been billed. You know, the system will stop or alert, alert you if you're overbilled on a commitment. But let's take a look at the cost. So this job's roughly $200,000. So if I get into the detail, this is just one of many, many ways that you know our clients can see their costs broken down. Now, these cost codes here that we're seeing, these are just samples, of course. So this is some type of a highway where we had some you know, demolition work excavating, some type of a civil job. Um, a lot of our clients do use cost codes, you know, whether it's framing or you know, underground utility or drywall or whatever the activities are. Um, however, probably half our clients just do more of the core cost groups like these here. You know, they might just be tracking by job, total labor, total materials, subcontract costs, potentially equipment, burden from payroll. Um, so again, and even if you are using cost codes, it doesn't mean you always have to see it. You can run reports that just show grand total cost or total labor cost and total labor hours. So that should be the easy part. I don't know if I should say fun part, but getting the data back out. So in this example, again, I'm showing cost codes um, and then beneath them, the breakdown of that, you know, 19 grand, I'm seeing it broken down by all of these different components, labor, material, subs, burden. And you can keep going. If I click into labor, you're going to see that backup detail. If you click into material, you'll see the invoices, um, which will do that. A lot of our clients will attach images into the system. So if they want to go paperless, they can. They can attach pictures, PDFs throughout the program. For example, like here, an AP invoice when it was entered, you know, I attached an image to it. So as we're kind of naturally looking at data, we're able to pop it open, take a look at it, and make sure um, we have that visibility. So point there, see, we could spend literally hours just talking about job costing, but you know, just, just keeping that in mind that it's flexible and there's a lot of options for the reports, and there's also a built-in report writer that's drop and drag. Change order management, right? We can see uh, where the job started, any, any change orders that have been approved, you know, I'm, ma I'm managing here pending, rejected, but those revised numbers, that's including the approved change orders, financial summaries, uh, income statements. This is just showing, a, again, a big picture view of that, our profit and loss. Um, WIP reports, just another classic construction-based report. Some people call them over-under billing or bonding reports. Um, again, if somebody wanted to make a variation to this um, that's that's completely doable without any like custom programming just through our standard report writer and there's other accounting related tabs here cash management open payables receivables you know managing retainage is simple to hold retainage release retainage um, speaking of that you know if we go into the core AR module right there's AIA billings which is a, a pretty standard way to do construction billings in the market people call them you know, progress billings or again, AIA. Um, you can do just standard contract invoices, maybe TNM. So in this case, you know, I'm just putting in our percent complete. We're on the first app. Um, and I'm just showing a couple quick other features here before Jim runs through some payroll items. Um, you know, again, we, we preload a lot of these forms that are specific. You know, he'll get into like certified payroll report and union reports, but you know, here's a AIA document, the G702, G703. System does a great job, again, tracking that retainage. When we when we commit this to the system, it's going to roll over to the next application. We have simple options for corrections or rollbacks available, where we're still keeping that audit trail. Because again, at the end of the day, we're still using foundation as in, in its heart for accounting purposes too, right? Balance sheets, income statements, cash flow reporting, committed cost management. You know, we're able to to, to track and, and enter in contracts, purchase orders. Everything can be customized from the form standpoint as well. If we want to build our own contracts, create our own POs, or just use like this, a preloaded purchase order template. So, you know, managing commitments, um, you know, having that driven within the system. AP, there's 1099s. Uh, we have lien waivers, which are also customizable. We can route invoices for approval. So that's a nice feature. Um, 
within our document imaging module, which again allows our clients to go paperless throughout the software, but this module specifically gives an opportunity where that invoice was entered, it might have been routed to an approver, whether that's the owner under certain conditions or often a project manager, right? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm approving invoices based on the job. So that project manager for the job would get a notification that they have you know, invoices routed for approval. At that point, they can hop in when, they're, when they have time see those invoices, make sure they're coded properly, right? Did this invoice go to the right cost code? If not, they can edit it. You maybe break down this 10 grand over a couple different line items or just change that to a different cost uh, category. But in short, it's giving us the ability to do those approvals in the system electronically, make sure they're coded right before they're committed to the GL and job costing. Um, now, again, there's other modules that we have uh, access to here, anything from scheduling, some of our clients have heavy service divisions where we eliminate the need to go buy a third party service tool, um, equipment and fixed assets management, you know, tracking usage of equipment, uh, scheduled maintenance and, and you know, tracking repairs. So there's a lot that we can get into here in the weeds. Um, we also have a full project management tool that I'm not going to get into <laughs> just on the surface wanted to bring this up where you know, we have another area that's more full scale for operations to manage submittals, RFIs, meeting minutes, daily logs, um, also manage additional forms of scheduling where we can see crews, um, you know, tasks that we're performing on given jobs, when, who's doing it, what equipment is assigned to those tasks. So there's a full more uh, traditional project management suite that's combined with foundation for people that have that additional need that they want us to help with, not just the core construction, accounting, and payroll. Saying that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change the presenter uh, back to, to Jim here, and um, he's gonna walk through the construction payroll side, and uh, thanks again. Thanks for all that, Garrett, appreciate it. Okay, so now what we'll do is switch gears a little bit. There's a little bit of crossover here, meaning you'll see in a second that uh, Payroll for construction is powered by foundation software. So, you know, what we do is we process payroll in all 50 states, like an ADP or paychecks, where we handle paying the employees via check or direct deposit, handle city, state, federal taxes, quarterlies, wage garnishments, W-2s, you know, so it's more of a service. Now, what I'll kind of really try to emphasize other than some of the feature sets here today is that you can, of course, purchase foundation software and use it and do payroll in-house or link up with another third party. Um, or payroll for construction can be more standalone where you could be using a QuickBooks or some other accounting system. What we really specialize in are the most complex payrolls out there. Of course, with any construction payroll comes job costing and because it's powered by foundation and it's such a strong job costing system, we're able to allow people to outsource to us and still keep their job cost numbers intact and push them back to QuickBooks and other programs for them so that they can continue to you know, maintain the rest of their business in that accounting system they're on. We specialize in union, government, prevailing wage, you know, multi-state. So with construction payroll, you know, there's a lot of complexities up front, getting the time into the system accurately to the right job. You know, that's a kind of a field thing most of the time. Uh, but then you know, these different wage scales or unions or fringes or, or different state taxing jurisdictions, you know, it really slows down that payroll process up front if you don't have the right service or system. Also, even once employees are paid and taxes are paid, there's still quite a bit of work to be done. With payroll for construction, we really can also provide those reports like Garrett had mentioned, like union, prevailing wage, certified payroll, and things like that. So inside of here, there are multiple ways to report your time to us. Some of our clients still just log in online from any computer. Again, they're accessing just that payroll portion of foundation without having to own the entire accounting system, and they just simply enter their time. Others, we have a mobile app, uh, you know, for time purposes today, like Garrett mentioned in the beginning, what we strongly uh, recommend is if any of this interests you, call one of us, schedule a one-on-one -on -one time where we can kind of discuss your specific company's needs and show you the products that, that could help your company no more, no less. So we have a mobile app where Instead of entering the time, you can just check it. Or if you're using another app like Exact Time, About Time, uh, T Sheets, any of those, and you're happy with it, 
you can always export and import that time right over to us. So what our clients are really doing is just either entering the time or having it come through uh, via a mobile app. Then they have the ability to come in here and check the time by employee, by day, by job, by cost code if you need. You know, uh, in my system, I'm in a, a sample database where, uh, you know, my guy Craig here is a non-union employee who makes $11.50 an hour when he or she is on private work. So the cool thing with us is you can control a lot by job, the union jurisdiction. You can attach a prevailing wage scale table that will dictate or automate those pay rates, you know, or if you are union, maybe they bounce between unions. You'll be able to see that stuff. And you won't have to mess with it come payroll day because as long as the job is set up with the correct tax jurisdiction, prevailing wage or union, all that rate stuff, all of that is going to automate for you. So we do a good job of eliminating some of the mistakes that are made uh, during manual changes and payroll, speeding up that upfront process uh, by getting the time cards in via mobile app, or again, even entering it. All you have to do is enter the employee, the job and the hours. And then our reports are really flexible. So again, this is construction. A lot of things in construction are more, you know, based or need to be seen by job rather than by employee. So these criteria pages that, again, you'd have whether you have foundation or just payroll for construction, allow you to reorganize the data to see it exactly how you want. So this report looks very similar to what I just showed, but now what we're doing is tallying it up by job. And there's no date range restrictions. You know, we know for workers comp audits, things like that, you gotta be able to go back and look at historical data. So from the time you start with foundation or even just payroll for construction, every transaction you put in will remain there at your fingertips as you can access both of our platforms right online from any computer with internet. So being able to really dig in and pinpoint, for example, hey, I just wanna know how many hours we had against cost code 2000 for job 12. You know, you can really get in there and start figuring out here what you want to see and really limiting that data. All of our reports can be printed, PDF, Word, Excel, or CSV. So really, you get the payroll in. You have the ability to look at both hours and dollars before you actually tell us to process the payroll. And once everything looks good, there's a little button there that says submit. You click that button, again, then we turn into a full payroll service that's liable for paying the employees and all of the taxes. We pull the money, we manage all the payments to the taxing authorities. And then again, we can integrate with QuickBooks and many other accounting systems out there. Um, you know, we've built files for thousands of them. So that way you're not having to manually type data back into your accounting system or sacrifice losing job costing or visibility. And then other reports, you know, that are key to construction are like workers' compensation. Being able to track workers' comp and put in caps per class, per employee, or even per earning type, where we have a column for hours, earnings, and earnings exposure. So if there are caps on things like overtime and stuff like that, we can break that out so that your workers' comp is tracking for audit payment purpose. But the other thing is, is workers' comp is a part of job costing. So when we bring on a client, whether it's foundation or they're using payroll for construction, being able to figure my $15 an hour employee here, Rick, after I add in all the taxes, the workers comp, the general liability benefits I pay on his or her behalf, my true to the penny cost per employee and my true to the penny cost per job. So again, just very flexible reporting here where I can run that just in kind of a job summary or if I wanted the employee detail, uh, you can see that. Uh, EEO, Minority Compliance Reporting, one of the things we also pride ourselves on is that we do this in all 50 states, and construction is our only focus, therefore continuously, continuously enhancing foundation software, its feature sets will always benefit you know, our end users because they're all construction companies. So keeping up with different agency and state formats, you know, we keep putting these in, updating them as they need, so that once we pay your employees in taxes, Payroll truly is done. It may be printing, sending a couple reports off, but no manually filling them in or figuring them out. Same with certified payroll. The big thing now or that, that's really catching on is instead of the paper formats, you know, if you're in California for sure, but depending on where you're at, LCP tracker, 
I mean, a lot of these, these agencies now want you to go to a website to type it in. So even if you have some type of system or service out there that's able to provide you a paper copy, sometimes that's not the end of it for the payroll person. Sometimes that person has to go to a website, log in and hand key it in, whereas with our system, just creates a file for any one of those agencies for you to simply upload to them so that the automation stays in place. If you did need a printed version though, you can pop in here and again, I'm not gonna click on all these for time purposes, but just no matter where you're at in the US, there's a format for it. We program it in here and then you click report and the system will run the report. You can have multi, multiple users in both foundation and in payroll for construction. There's different uh, security settings that can be put in place where, you know, hey, this payroll person can log in and see field employees, but not office. So we can really make this work for multiple groups of people with different roles and settings in place. And each person can save their reports the way they want. So you're not fighting one another. And then everyone will have kind of a little, we call it quick links, but flow chart. Uh, shortcut to the reporting that they want. And the last report, you know, benefit reporting, all that kind of stuff, time off tracking and reporting is all in here on both sides. But the last one I'll show is just, you know, a union report. Basically, your company name, the date range, the union with the employees, hours with totals, gross with totals, total into each benefit. And then a nice little summary page for that union. Send the report with the check. And then you have multi union. You go to your next union, send the report with the check. So just to recap here before I open it up for questions, okay? So foundation is a full job cost ERP accounting system. Going to replace like your QuickBooks of the world. You're going to basically run your whole entire company and business through there from billing to job costing to, um, you know, payroll. All of that's right there. Payroll for construction is just the payroll part of foundation where we're being more like an ADP or paychecks, more like a service for you guys. Now, again, both products can be ran separately, purchased separately, or they can be ran together. I mean, we have, I always say three types of clients. We have clients that just run foundation, clients that just run payroll for construction, and then clients that actually use both because maybe they're looking for new accounting and they also want to outsource payroll. So instead of using a QuickBooks and you know, other payroll service, it can all come together underneath foundation. You deal with, in essence, two companies, but we're all in the same building. All of our support from the time you work with Garrett or myself to your trainer to ongoing support, uh, they're all homegrown employees. They all work directly for us. Um, so you, you'll enjoy the support and things like that because this is construction. You know, unfortunately, the people in the office have to sit back and rely on information from field employees and contractors that just don't always pass you along accurate information in a timely fashion. So even if you buy a system and it's perfect and you in the office are perfect, you're, there's going to be mistakes. You're going to have to have a team behind you that you can easily get a hold of that can jump in and fix things or, or show you how to do something new in the system. So all of that stuff is done right by us. Okay. We'll open it up here. We like to keep these to about 30 minutes. And then if you want, you guys can ask some questions now. Okay, looks like Okay, Garrett, somebody is asking if Foundation has mobile as well. Yes, absolutely. So Foundation and Payroll for Construction share the same mobile application. So you can use Foundation Mobile with just P4C, Payroll for Construction, or just with Foundation Software, or both solutions together with the same mobile app. That's a great question. Okay, perfect. And then also, looks like somebody's asking about the um let's see oh the pricing for payroll for construction it looks like somebody's asking about uh how is the pricing based it's based on if you're weekly or bi-weekly and then the number of employees we actually pay each week so the question's geared around like does it depend on how many employees you have yes i mean 
this construction, you could have 20 today, 25 tomorrow, 15 in the winter. So yeah, if you, anybody wants to email me, reach out for pricing, I can put a formal quote together as well. Okay, can you please explain a bit the work, uh, can you please explain a bit about workflow system, like enter the transaction, review the transaction, and approve the transaction in all places where we input the data. Um, Garrett, I'm assuming that's yeah, uh, probably more yeah, pro I'm probably on the workflow for accounts payable. So at the time of the invoices being entered, and and again for anybody that wants to get into some of the detail and watch some of these steps live, more than happy to do that with them. So if a person in AP is king in the transaction, you know, an AP invoice. Um, if it's job related, um, you know, they'll, they'll attach a job to that, to that invoice entry and they'll also attach the image of the invoice, that PDF, right? Whether they scanned it or if they received it via email, they're going to take that PDF and drag it on top of the invoice entry screen and that's going to attach it. And so then you can establish routing rules, which could be different for each company. You know, quite often it's who's the PM on the job, that's who's going to get routed to. Some people route also based on dollar value of the transaction. But when the invoice is saved, it's not fully committed to the system yet, but it's just saved. And at that point, it's automatically routing it to the right person. And then it's going to send them a notification to go, you know, do their approvals. And then that approver would be able to log in, make sure it's coded properly. And if it is, they're going to go ahead and hit that. And then it's going to shoot that back to the sender. And now it can be committed to the system. And there can be multiple layers in that approval workflow as well. And there's also a time card approval workflow through the mobile app. Hopefully that answered that question, but if there's others along that line, more again, more than happy to elaborate. Yeah, and Garrett, they had also asked, you covered uh, AR and stuff, but payroll, you know, there again, it's going to depend on if you enter it or use mobile, but there is a approval system in the mobile app where let's just say the field employees enter it, it goes to the foreman, then to maybe some high-level project managers, then it rolls up to the office. But this list right here is what most clients are looking at as far as in the office before they're actually submitting or posting their payroll. This is where you'd be able to go in and see that stuff. And again, if you notice something looks off, you'd be able to drill into it. And whether you entered that time card or whether that time card came from the mobile app, you'd still be able to edit any of those transactions from the the job, the hours, the earning type, the trade classification, the cost code if necessary. So you'd still be able to edit all that stuff in here. You know, kind of that payroll workflow is going to be more, hey, time in one way or the other, check hours. There's a bunch of other reports too. I mean, if I want to check and see if I forgot to pay somebody, if I want to see what our tax liability is going to look like. So each client looks at different reports, but it's you know, going to greatly depend on that. Are you entering it manually or using some mobile? Because if you're using mobile, really, the hard part for the, the office team is the fact that, hey, listen, you need to have a flow chart there, kind of that pyramid of, hey, I have my basic level of employees rolling up to my foreman, rolling up maybe again to some supervisors, because they're going to know more than the office. They're going to know was that employee there? Were they doing what they said? And did they did they do that for the right amount of hours? Right. Okay. One more, Garrett. When we enter the transaction through journal entry, can we cost code slash job code and equipment code too? Yeah, you, you absolutely can. Um, so in the general ledger journal entries, you can opt to have columns that show not just the GL account and dollar amount, of course, but job cost code and cost class you absolutely can still job cost through a gl journal entry no problem and jim i can't All see right. the questions i think you're logged in as the admin so yeah yeah they, they, yep yeah no they they came to me so it looks like that is about it for today so again want to thank everybody here for their time if anybody has questions again we can do a demo. Feel free to email us or call us at any time, and we'd be happy to help. So thank you all very much, and have a great day.